Uh, so this is an example of what we call a regressed germinal center. Uh, it can occur in the setting of uh, florid follicular hyperplasia. Um, they can uh, occur in the setting of uh, single-site disease or multicentric uh, Kasselman's disease, either the hyaline vascular variant or plasma cell variant or in the uh, multicentric Hasselman disease setting. Uh, so you see these uh, tiny regressed germinal centers uh, with this vessel either penetrating or extending through causing this handle, forming what we call a tiny lollipop sign. You have small lymphocytes surrounding, forming a subtle layering called onion skinning. Uh, you have a small vessel proliferation around the germinal center. Um, and then you can have uh, mature plasma cells. Uh, these can be either polyclonal, sometimes um, light chain restricted, but still considered uh, uh, benign in the setting of uh, Castleman's disease. Um, they can be HHV positive in the setting of multicentric Castleman disease, um, associated with this rarely uh, rare, but um, a recently defined a syndrome called Tafro syndrome, where uh, it uh, is composed of a constellation of uh, thrombocytopenia, anasarca, marrow fibrosis, uh, renal dysfunction, and organomegaly. Um, also, POEM syndrome uh, in the setting of uh, uh, neoplastic plasma cells or myeloma. Um, and sometimes these uh, dendritic cells, follicular dendritic cells here, uh, formed by uh, budding or kissing nuclei, can become, can become quite dysplastic, forming uh, even frank uh, dendritic cell sarcoma. Uh, this is very rare, but can happen. Uh, other associations, uh, EBV, uh, co-infection, uh, HIV, uh, plasmablastic lymphoma, primary effusion lymphoma uh, uh, can be in rare instances associated with this um, rare regressed uh, germinal centers that you can see in uh, lymph nodes. Thank you.